Good morning, Mustang family. Welcome back to another beautiful school day here at Herb Christian School. At this time, please join me for the pledges. <clears throat> please face the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The pledge to the Christian flag. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. The pledge to the Bible. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I may not sin against God. You may be seated. All right. This is a reminder, uh, folks. Uh, we have our second meeting for the Mustang Investment Club. I was able to pop in towards the end of the meeting on Tuesday of this week, and it was it was it was an awesome meeting. I had great feedback from the students that attended. You are more than welcome to attend if you didn't attend the first meeting. It's in the computer lab every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3.30 p.m. To, till 4.30 p.m. I know some students wanted to attend on Tuesday. They had forgotten to make arrangements with their parents. If you would like to attend today, you can, you can ask permission from your teacher to step out, come to the office, make a phone call, and just remind your parents to pick you up at 4.30 p.m. Uh, we would love to have you. Uh, in this day and age, it's so important that you're financially savvy and you're and you're prepared for your future uh, when it comes to saving, budgeting, uh, investing, making your money work for you. Uh, it is so very important for that financial independence and security. And, and security is everything. It really will give you peace in your life. So we invite you to come on, check it out. Uh, I think it's going to be a worthwhile uh, club for you to be a part of. We are planning guest speakers. We're going to touch on some interesting new topics that when I uh, uh, ran the club a few years ago didn't even exist uh, when it comes to uh, cryptocurrency and NFT trading. Uh, so it's going to be pretty cool. Check it out. I, I welcome you guys. Come check it out. Mr. Calendriano is really providing uh, some great insight. Uh, He's about to uh, graduate with his economy degree next semester. So we, we, he's bringing a lot of knowledge and, and, and recent insight uh, to that club. So come on by, check it out. All right, today we have our honor roll ceremony for high school at a quarter after two at 2.15 p.m. in the chapel. Teachers, we will make an all call at around two o'clock as a final reminder to you, but make sure that you've made preparations to bring down your classes. So if you're an elective teacher and you have high school students there in that time, we ask that you come down with them. All right. Our middle school ceremony, it, it, took, it took about 35 minutes. I was timing it on stage. So it's really quick, guys. We should be out of here with just four grade levels, uh, really uh, no later than 245. All right, folks. I hope you have an amazing day. Uh, one final message to our student body. Uh, guys, I know the past two years, next, next month, it'll mark a two-year anniversary. Uh, in mid-March of 2020, we went virtual. I remember that day. Uh, we had to send out an email to parents not uh, notifying them that we will go virtual the, next, uh, the rest of that school year. Uh, yeah, it's going to be two years. And I know it's been rough on you students. And I know you, you see the news and social media and it looks bleak. But this will pass. We will be fine. I want you to stay the course. It's very important, guys. You do not want to be behind academically two years. So, guys, we know that number one priority is safety. And obviously, if you don't feel symptoms, we want you to stay home. Communicate with your teachers. Uh, make sure you get your work done. But other than that, you really shouldn't miss school. I know it's difficult. I know things happen. But you got to try your hardest and also to be here on time. It's so important. This is your future, guys. Well, the whole purpose of school is educating you and preparing you for your future in the workforce. Um, we're proud of you. 
And don't worry, this will pass, guys. This will pass. We just have to be prepared. We take advantage of every situation. We have some really cool things planned for you guys. And we have things in the works to grow this school even more and offer more programs for you. So be in prayer. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll just give you a sneak peek in, into next school year. We're, we're, we're going to have an elective of media broadcasting. We're going to offer some more art classes in high school. We're going to expand their computer science program. We have a 3D printer arriving on campus before the end of the school year. Uh, that's a very expensive item. We're going to add that to our computer science program. Uh, we're looking into Oculus devices and augmented reality and virtual reality to, uh, to incorporate within our classes. So we are making le we're leaps and bounds in technology. You know, the Wi-Fi is extremely fast now. Um, the future is bright, guys, and we have some other exciting plans for our athletics program and so on. But, but be in prayer for that, guys, and uh, we're proud of you. This will all pass. But stay the course. It's so important. Stay the course. All right, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day, Lord. Lord, we ask that you be with our teachers today, Father. Uh, Lord, place in their hearts and remind them how noble their profession is, Father. How important they are to our society, Father. Lord, be with our students, Father, our most valuable asset. May they know that how much we love them. Even when it's tough love, we're doing it for a reason, Father. I hope they, they know this. May they stay diligent, Father. Lord, be with their families. Be with our support staff, Father. Be with our leadership teams, Lord. Be with our PTF. Guide them, Lord. Give us wisdom always. May we always lean on you, Father. Rely on you. May we always submit to you, Father. Lord, we thank you for all that you do. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.